In this video, we are going to discuss about GE 3171 Problem Solving and Python Programming Laboratory, exercise number 12A. To write a Python program to develop a bouncing ball gaming activity using Pygame. Now, let's see the syllabus for Regulation 2021. This is a syllabus, and we are going to see the 12th exercise. Developing a game activity using Pygame like Bouncing Ball. So first, let's see what is a Pygame. It is a cross-platform set of Python modules designed for writing video games. It includes computer graphics and sound libraries designed to be used with Python program language. Pygame is a Python wrapper for SDL library. That is, it stands for Simple Direct Media Layer, that is SDL. Pygame library is composed of number of Python constructs, includes several different modules. These modules provide abstract answers to specific hardware on system. It is a game library. It is suitable to create client-side applications. So, now let's see what is a bouncing ball. Bouncing ball is an interesting subject of analysis demonstrating several interesting dynamic principles related to acceleration, momentum and energy. These principles almost at some point in their lives has bounced a rubber ball against the wall or floor and observed its motion. I hoped almost uh, everybody would have done it. Normally we don't think of bouncing ball too much as it's fairly obvious what is happening. The ball basically rebounds of a surface at a speed proportional to how fast it is thrown. But what is known to most is what is specifically happening to the ball before, during and after its brief impact with the surface. To begin this explanation, let's first consider what happens to a typical rubber ball that is dropped vertically onto a flat horizontal surface and which falls under the influence of gravity. In this explanation, the bouncing ball will be broken down into several stages in which the ball motion before, during and after impact is analyzed. To simplify the discussion, let's assume the bound surface is hard, that is rigid and that the air resistance is negligible. The first stage, the ball falls vertically downward under the influence of gravity. The velocity point also moves downward. The acceleration is point upward. So, the magnitude is equal to its gravity, the absence of air resistance. Next, in the second stage, the ball begins to make contact with the surface. It continues to fall vertically downward under the influence of gravity. In the third stage, the ball has slowed down. Now, the velocity is still pointing downward. However, the ball deforms sufficiently such that the acceleration is now pointing upward. It means the ball has deformed enough such that it is pushing against the surface with the force greater than its own weight. So, the acceleration is pointing upward. Then in the fourth stage, the ball has reached its maximum deformation as a result. The acceleration is still pointing upward and the velocity is zero. It means the point is at lowest point. Next in the stage 5, the ball velocity is increasing and pointing upward since the ball is now in the rebounding stage. As a result, the ball is less deformed than in the previous stage but is still deformed enough such that it is pushing against the surface with the force greater than its original weight. It means the acceleration is still pointing upward. Then at the stage 6, the ball is barely touching the surface. The velocity is still pointing upward since the ball is still in the rebounding stage. However, since the ball is no longer deformed, it has essentially zero contact force with the surface. It means the only force acting on the ball is gravity. As a result, the acceleration is now pointing downward and the upward velocity is now decreasing. Then at the last stage, 7 stage, the ball has fully rebounded and has lifted off from the surface. The velocity is still pointing upward and the acceleration is still pointing downward since the only force acting on the ball in the stage is gravity. We are going to see the lab manual for this exercise. 
it is the lab manual exercise number 12a developing a gaming activity using pi game like bouncing ball it is the aim it is the algorithm and it is a program and it is the output now we are going to see how we are going to execute this program so portable python in that open py script portable so the open the default as illa coding irukum adha remove pannite idla green color button irukum adha click panni run pannalam appadi illa control plus f9 press pannalam see you can see the output the ball is bouncing it is moving upwards and downwards malai kili ball move aagum so top to up ku nama direction equal to minus 1 nu kuduthirukom डायरेक्शन इक्वल टू वन ना अप टू डाउन मूव आओ इधर आंधा कंडीशन सो डाउन टू अप एंड अप टू डाउन बॉल बाउंस आउट सो कैप्शंस लेना कुर्तर कौन है बाउंसिंग बॉल अब डिंग रहता कुर्तर कौन ब्लैक ओड़ा कलर जीरो 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 अब डिंग नाला कुर्तर कौन जीरो ओड़ा कलर जीरो टू फिफ्टी फाइव कमा जीरो अगर आरजीबी red is red and blue vandu zero la kuduthukom so anala green color mattum namakku illa theriyudhu ball idhu vera colors nama kuduthona vera colors ketha mari ball move aagum colors change aagum so the output so idhe output da nammoda lab manual la idhula kuduthukku same output namakku two way scripter la execute panna bodum ball bounce aagi vandhuchu lab manual also same output Finally, we have executed GE three one seven one problem solving and Python programming laboratory twelve A exercise that is how to develop a bouncing ball gaming activity using Pi game. I hope you have understood. Thank you.